Hello, and welcome to day 16 of 25 Days of Thanksgiving. 25 Days of Thanksgiving is a devotional series as well as a sermon series uh, that we've been doing through the month of November leading up to Thanksgiving, but more than that, creating that sense of gratitude to God every day of our lives, creating a habit of that. And so if you haven't been following along, I encourage you, you can check uh, our blog and you can see the previous devotions that we've been doing and be able to catch up on those or maybe just follow it through and, and continue past Thanksgiving uh, would be a great way to do it as well. Today, we're going to be looking at 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 11 and 12. You will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. And through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. This service that you perform is not only supplying the needs of the Lord's people, but is also overflowing in many expressions of thanks to God. 2 Corinthians 9, verses 11 and 12. You know, generosity is not something that we really come along with naturally. It's not something that we're born with usually. Uh, in fact, all you really need to do is watch some little kids, uh, maybe preschool age kids, and you'll see very quickly that sharing doesn't really come naturally. They, they tend to snatch things. They tend to, you know, say mine, and they, they hold on to things. They need to be taught to share things. Now, the thing is, it's not really just little kids, is it? Even as adults, we struggle with generosity. We like to hold on to what we have. We're afraid to lose what we have. If I, if I give away things, then I won't have what I need, sometimes we think. And so generosity is something that, that we need to grow into. But thankfully, it's also something that the Spirit of God works in us. Generosity is a gift that God gives us, gives to his people, that it, it just flows out from him through us to others. And it's something that is strongly connected to two things, to trust and to gratitude. To trust and to gratitude. Because if we trust that God is the one who is going to provide for us, that, that uh, he's going to be good and, and provide everything that we need, then we can give and not worry that we won't have what we need. Because we trust that he is going to continue to provide. But it's also connected to gratitude, because generosity flows not out of a, um, not out of a, a compelling you to do something, you have to go do something, some, some need of yours, but rather it, it flows out of realizing that all that we have is from God, that this is all a wonderful gift that he has given us. He has supplied us not only with what we need, but with more than we need. And so we can then give generously and joyfully to others, trusting that God will continue to care for us and giving thanks to him all the while for what he has given us and how he is able to bless others through the gifts that we give them. And what does it say in our passage that that results in many thanksgiving to God, right? Much thanksgiving to God, that not only are the people who are receiving the gifts thankful, but then others see it and it results in glory and thanksgiving to God, even outside of the church. How awesome is that? So not only can we thank God for the gift of generosity, but we can thank God with our generosity by giving to others and thanking God the whole time and seeing the thanks to God flowing out even beyond those that we give to. Amen? Amen. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.